Hello, everyone. Welcome to week 18 of my 100 week art challenge. My name is Michael, and I used to be an engineer. For the past two years, I've been self teaching art. I created this 100 week art challenge to document the process of me exploring my personal artistic voice. This week, I spent a lot of time preparing for showing my recent paintings at my friend's coffee shop in Seattle. Fortunately, because I had been carefully naming and cataloging my paintings, the process was quite straightforward. It took us quite a while to hang all of the 20 paintings up on the wall without punching any holes. Seeing them all together on the wall felt quite surreal to me, and having customers seeing them every day also made me feel both excited and scared at the same time. I have little idea how they would be received, but mostly I'm glad I had this opportunity to use my art to decorate a very modern and beautiful coffee shop, as well as having them shown to a larger audience. I'm excited to paint bigger pieces down the road that have more visual impact and won't look so tiny against a big wall in someone's home or in a public place. This week, I got more acrylic paints in big jars. Blue and green are my favorite colors, and they look very delicious. It's a strange word to use on paints, but that's how I felt. I also painted with a sponge for the first time. It's quite challenging. I tried to wing it as hard as I could. I think the painting turned out pretty dynamic and fun. I completed four paintings this week. The first one has a lot of pala knife work and watery colors running down. I turned the painting upside down after finishing it, and I think it looks more interesting this way. The second one is this moody painting using an analogous color scheme, including blue, blue violet, and blue green. I thought this one is very smooth looking, so I did a very similar one with a bit more harsh brush strokes. Here are these two side by side. There isn't much color popping with analogous colors, and even though less dramatic, I very much enjoy the kind of dark and the quiet moodiness they present. Finally, the fourth painting is the one painted with a sponge. Very experimental, textural, and dynamic. It's been a very fulfilling week. I will keep experimenting with acrylics next week. As for this week's painting time lapse, I'm going to show this one painting. I hope you would find it enjoyable and helpful. If you are interested in any of the paintings I completed this week, please check out more information on my website at michaelandart.com. Thank you for tuning in for the 18th week of my 100 week art challenge. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment below with any questions or advice. To follow the journey of me finding my personal artistic voice through this 100 week art challenge, please subscribe to my channel. Please also share this video to people who might benefit from my experience and exploration. Thank you and have a wonderful one. I will see you next week.